Hey, Eddie J on crypto here. Have a little bit of a bonus round. Um, a couple of my friends, Elliot and Gull, want to know more about ADA. They were expecting ADA to kind of pop up today. Um, here's the deal. Algorand, um, not Algorand, sorry. Um, Cardano is not going to pop up today. It's just not. Here are the issues. So they launched Sunday Swap, not them, but Sunday Swap launched on their blockchain to DeFi, right? So that's going to add to their TVL total value locked, okay? Um, but there were issues when they launched a couple of days ago and people were expecting airdrops and they didn't get the airdrops. How come they didn't get the airdrops? Because they didn't follow the rules. That's why. It's as simple. Um, not going to talk about that. It is what it is. But they launched, they had, a, they had some congestion. Um, that will be addressed. I'm totally confident in that. I think Algo, I think, um, sorry, I, again, I did it again. Wow. Algorand and ADA, I think that's my issue. But Cardano has a very strong blockchain. I think that's something that should be paid attention to. Something else that should be paid attention to is this is their first DeFi. OK, they flipped Solana and they didn't have an ounce of total value locked. They're not being tracked on sites like DeFi Llama. OK, they have Jack. So when you think about how far they've come and how much they've achieved without having any DeFi projects on their blockchain, on their blockchain, that says a lot. So when you look at what they're doing, you sit there and you kind of go, man, compared to some of these other coins, look at them. They're, they're at they're at 194 percent, you know, over the year, over one year. But they but they're down 46.98 percent, almost basically 47 percent in 90 days. It makes you go ah. It makes me say this is buying season. The FOMC is going to come out tomorrow. And if they say something nice, everybody's going to pop. If they say something bad, everybody's going to drop. This is fairly simple, okay? I've got money sitting on the sidelines ready for me to act in either event. If they drop, if they say, if the FOMC, if Powell says something bad, Chairman Powell, if he says something and it has a bad reaction on the markets and the markets go <gasps> and they drop, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for that drop. Okay, I'm going to wait for the dust to settle. I'm going to wait for it to find a new bottom. And then I'm in. And I'm in because cryptocurrency is here and it's here to stay. It's here so strong that governments around the world are actually having conversations about going digital with their fiat. Let that wash over you. That says more than what it says in that sentence. They're looking to go digital with their fiat. The EU, the IMF is, con is considering a lot of questions from countries within the EU to discuss what about moving to a digital currency, okay? Moving their fiat to digital. Well, guess what? There's a lot of work that has to happen to that. Cryptocurrency is already here. Bitcoin is already global. The altcoins are already global. There are a lot of different utilities and reasons why you would do this. So I have no issue that everything is going to come back, even if there's a drop. Okay? Even if there's a drop, I don't care. I really don't care. It's going to come, in my opinion, it's going to come back. It'll come back strong, and that's the way it'll be. Looking at Cardano, holding sixth place before. Before they even got involved with total value locked, being in, you know, having a DeFi on their blockchain, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Solana is a hot blockchain, big time on NFTs, taking bites out of the NFT market, you know, marketplace from freaking Ethereum. When I look at that, I'm like, wow, Solana, you know, under a hundred bucks, they they got something going on. I look at Cardano and I look at that TVL and they're just getting started. Are you kidding me? I think by the end of the year, they're going to pop up. So I'm not worried about them. I'm not even worried about the FOMC. The only thing that I'm looking for is 
if they say something positive to the marketplace, if they say something negative to the marketplace. But Cardano, no matter what, Cardano is going to take off. They'll fix the, you know, the congestion with Sunday swap because there's just so much, you know, built up interest. I have no problem with that. I have no issues. I have no issues whatsoever. What I am looking for is for them to make sure they address the, the congestion, one. Two, that they introduce more DeFi's and more projects over the next year. They do that. I'm thinking... I can get a multiple out of Cardano. As a matter of fact, my son called me up and he says, hey, dad, Cardano, Algorand, what do you want to do? And I said, you know what? I'm already going to do Cardano. You know what? As a matter of fact, we're already in Cardano. We have almost nothing. We have one Algorand. I said, you know what? We can do something with Algorand. Leave Cardano, right? But the next one I'm going to, there's a group, there's a group of nine, you know, coins that I'm interested in right now, right now, go to my previous videos. You will see the nine that I'm interested in. I even gave you two extras. I'm interested in those coins because I think those coins are going to explode once the FOMC is done. When the FOMC is done, and the only reason why the FOMC matters right now is because one of the things that they're considering right now is regulation on crypto. And again, just like I said in my preceding video, all we're looking at are people getting affected that wanted to kind of hide their cryptocurrencies. Everybody else, you're paying your taxes. You're doing what you need to do. This is going to be a bump in the road and then back off to the races. That's what I'm thinking, okay? So what I did, I bought $250 worth of Algorand tonight, and I've got money sitting on the sidelines, you know, to actually capture, you know, what I think is going to be a major uptick by other coins like uh, Cardano, Solana, um, Matic is huge on my list. I think my investment idea with regard to crypto.com, again, look at my previous videos. You'll see the nine coins that I have identified as quick hitters that are going to make you big money. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm sharing with you what I am actually doing, right? Just one person to another person. Really, it's not me to you. It's me to my kids. I'm trying to teach them how daddy thinks. This is what daddy's doing. Daddy's doing research. Daddy's taking deep dives into coins. Daddy's looking at what their utilities are. Daddy's use, looking at what kind of usefulness. So you might have a utility, but if it's not useful to people, it doesn't freaking matter. But I'm looking at that usefulness and are they solving problems that actually exist? Nobody wants to hear about a problem that you're solving that doesn't actually exist, okay? That's what I'm doing right here. So if you're looking at Cardano, Cardano, I think, is on a fire sale right now. And if the FOMC says anything positive tomorrow, I think it's going to go off to the races. So I'm poised to let Cardano sit, right? Sit right there at the bottom. Just relax. And then if the FOMC says something that's positive and Cardano starts to go up, I'm ready to act again. I'm ready to act again. Same thing for Algorand and same thing for a few other coins that I've given you. Okay? This is what I'm doing. So pay attention to those things and do your research. DYR as often as you can. As often as you can. It takes, it takes minutes. It takes minutes to DYR. Do your research. Don't rely on people to yap yap about what they're doing and how they're doing it. Take in the information, understand why they might be doing something, then do your own research and see where you want to be with whatever altcoin you're interested in or even Bitcoin. Eddie J on crypto, smash the likes, subscribe, hit the notification so you understand when something's coming out. Because I'm about to I'm about to drop this video right now. If you got a notification, thank you so much.
Thank you to everybody. We're going to grow this. And I hope my kids learn a little something on the way. Have a good night.